from macular degeneration to hearing aids, biomechanical engineering helps to treat a wide variety of diseases and disorders. Those of you unaware of what biomechanical engineering is, it is the application of mechanical engineering principles and design to biology and medicine for healthcare purposes. Today, I would like to shine some light on one of the disabilities that biomechanical engineering helps to combat, known as amputation. Amputations are the removal of limbs due to medical illnesses in the body to stop the spread of the disease to other parts of the body. However, amputations can also occur in times of trauma, such as those experienced in war. Biomechanical engineering helps to combat amputations through the use of prosthetics. Prosthetics can be defined as the artificial attachment of limbs and joints. They have been around much longer than most people would expect, ranging back to Egyptian times. Scientists have recently discovered what is believed to be the first prosthetic toe from an, an Egyptian mummy. This dates back to the time period around 1069 BC and 664 BC. The material used to create this toe was simply wood and leather. Biomechanics started to make astounding advancements during the Renaissance period. French surgeon Ambroise Paré is considered by many to be the father of modern amputation surgery and prosthetic design. He introduced modern amputation procedures in the year 1529 and also invented an above-knee device that was a kneeling peg leg and foot prosthesis that had a fixed position, adjustable harness, knee lock control, and other engineering features that are used in today's devices. His work showed the first true understanding of how a prosthesis could function. So that begs the question, where is our prosthetic technology today? This is a picture of Hugh Herr, who has a master's degree in mechanical engineering as well as a PhD in biophysics. Sadly, in the year 1982, Dr. Herr had both his legs amputated due to frostbite damage in his tissues during an ice climbing accident. During his TED talk in the year 2014, Hugh explains how he thinks the technology was inadequate to the problem at hand, and this became his calling. He wanted to push prosthetics beyond their biological purpose, and wanted to create them in a way that would suit different tasks at hand. In order to accomplish this, Dr. Herr realized it wasn't enough to just work on the mechanics of the prosthetic, but also making a connection between our nervous system and the artificial limb. In order to do this, a neural implant was needed. A neural implant is a device that provides bidirectional communication between the peripheral nerves in an amputee's residual limb and the microcontroller circuitry of multi-degree freedom-powered prosthesis. Realization of this goal will allow the prosthesis user's brain and nerves to effortlessly coordinate the movements of the prosthesis's knee and ankle joints simultaneously so that the limb motions are smooth and natural during normal ambulation and stair climbing. Dr. Herr also believes that prosthetics and biomechanics does not just stop with amputees. He believes that we can use this technology to further enhance our human capabilities, making us more physically enhanced as well as more efficient. He did a test trial with an individual who was not amputated, giving him an exoskeleton around his legs and generating torque, giving him the ability to move without actually wasting of his own energy. This is a picture of Dennis Sorensen, who became the first amputee in the world to feel in real time with a sensory enhanced prosthetic hand that was surgically wired to nerves in his upper arm. In a laboratory setting wearing a blindfold and earplugs, Sorensen was able to detect how strongly he was grasping as well as the shape and consistency of different objects he picked up with his prosthetic being able to tell the texture and shape of the objects he was holding. So I hope I did a good job explaining to you all how biomechanics has changed the course of time in order to combat amputations by making technological innovations in prosthetics to make limbs that are just as good, maybe even better than biological ones. Please feel free to check the references in the description below that I used to make this video, and I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did making it.